Hello everyone, it's Aiden365 here. Um, continuing with Bach's Christmas Oratorio, I thought I would round out part one. What I haven't told you yet is that this uh, magnificent and uh, massive work is in six parts. So I'm going to play two really short excerpts from the uh, last two movements that round out part one. Um, so the eighth movement is an aria for the uh, bass soloist to sing. And it starts off a bit like this. And so it rolls on. Quite robust, quite a jolly little number. So after the eighth movement, obviously it comes the ninth movement, and this is what closes the first of these six parts here. Uh, and as is often the case uh, in this kind kind of work, um, it closes with a chorale for the whole choir and the, the massed band, or in this case uh, orchestra, to play and sing together. Although it has a very very different uh, flavour when compared to the preceding bass aria. So this last chorale here from uh, part one is what we'll finish with tonight. And it goes something like this. Leaving you on a bit of a musical cliffhanger, perhaps, ready to come back for part two tomorrow, which starts with a, a lovely sprightly number for the orchestra to get their teeth into. So that is how part one closes of um, Bach's Christmas Oratorio. It's a huge work. Play it all, you'll be playing for a while. I should know, I'm going to be doing quite a lot of it. <laughs> um, so I hope you're enjoying it. Um, it's a little bit different, I know, but... Um, Hey, variety is the spice of life, is it not? Thank you very much for joining in today, folks, and checking in with me. Keep the comments coming. Let me know you're still alive out there and you're still with me on day, what is it now? Is it 322? The end of the year is approaching. And believe me, I have got big plans for how we finish the year. More of that when we get there. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.